Brian Mulife being welcomed back to ESCOM like a king. We told them our father is coming, so the song went. And overjoyed Mulife loved every moment of it. Thank you very much for the warm welcome. I just want to reiterate that we must continue with our mission of keeping the lights on. With those few words, Mulife officially resumed his duties after a seven-month absence. He came in, he had a few meetings. I was part of those first two meetings that he had uh, where he addressed his executives. Um, you know, and that meeting was, was you know, then it, it, it actually spilled into two with the same, you know, group of people. And, you know, he discussed his vision of the business. Essentially what he wants to see is an ESCOM that is, a, is very competitive. Outside, a handful of COPE supporters protested against Mulefe's reinstatement. Our aim is to mobilize as many people as, as, as possible. And we are not going to stop doing that today. We are going to continuously talking to people and uh, until Mr. Brian Mulefe realizes that he has to leave this important institution that is linked to our economy. Followed by a handful of DA supporters. We've asked for an urgent uh, meeting in Parliament where ESCOM has come and briefed the Portfolio Committee on Public Enterprises. But because these wheels do sometimes move slowly, as we speak, our lawyers are currently at the Pretoria Accounting North High Court where we are lodging papers to stop his appointment with immediate effect. A few hours later, the court papers duly arrived at ESCOM. Our position is very simple. We're going to defend the matter in court. Public Enterprises Minister Lynn Brown was said to have been summoned to Luchuli House on Monday to explain Mulefe's reinstatement. ANC spokesperson Zizi Godwa could not be reached for comment on whether Minister Brown came to the meeting or not. Mbongini Mutua, SABC News, Johannesburg.